Welcome back. Now, if you're looking for the perfect way to treat the most important woman in your life this Mother's Day, then look no further. Here's the man, Shane Rigney from Riggers. D8 is serving up a snazzy version of breakfast in bed. There you, you have it. You want to be careful you don't get this on the bed sheets. Tell anyway. you what, this looks <laughs> Maybe just beautiful. come down from the kitchen and eat it. Have so, your coffee in posh bed. Posh scrambled eggs. Posh scrambled eggs. Um, yeah, just really rich, creamy scrambled eggs with some uh, wild Atlantic smoked salmon. A bit of creme fraiche on top. Um, so an ideal like way to cook so breakfast for your mum today. And we're not trying luxurious. to be too yeah. healthy, like we're enjoying it. So oh, do you look, have it's a pretty balanced, pretty healthy, but I mean like yeah, we're gonna add like some like flavour in there. Yeah. Do yeah. you have a go to scrambled egg recipe then? Because remember Rick um, Stein once saying when he's interviewing a chef, yeah. he'd always say to him, make the scrambled eggs and he can tell of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cook. Um so like some chefs like are very much like anti kind of doing it like they, they kind of scramble their eggs very slowly yeah like so i would have like a fairly low heat okay um if you have the time even though scrambled eggs like is, is super quick if you have the time on a really low heat i just um melt the butter and uh throw the eggs straight in season them at the end and just very slowly okay um, curl them now i don't like scrambled eggs that are really really mixed okay, okay. so like i tend to just in a figure of eight kind of slowly cook Let's them see out, it, and baby. that's it Let's okay so, uh, we, we, so we go three eggs a portion Okay, okay, so I've made yours there already. Yes, you have. So three um, free-range eggs, three large free-range eggs, if you can, into a mixing bowl. Um, if you can do a large bowl, so that would be, say, people would have two eggs. If you can do three, so you could easily do six, nine, whatever, just yes. double, triple it up. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, um, so your, th your eggs in there, and if you have a big bowl, it's better just so you can whisk some air into it, okay? okay? So I have that, a pan on here. Is that milk or cream? That's cream, that's double cream. Ooh. Okay. So we're going for Love. uber luxury today. Good man. Like spoiling the mammies. Hi, Dolores. Uh, Are you? Mammy's watching, is she? <laughs> I'm sure she That's is. Mammy is she Riggers. getting this today? She, well, she will not be getting this today. No, because I have to go straight back to work <laughs> yeah, yeah. So my dad will probably make it for her. All right, Dad, um, you're on duty. So good knob of butter, about 20 grams of butter into the pan, right? So you'll see that that's just not too hot. Just going to let that gently heat. Yeah. So butter, double cream. So that's my scrambled egg. We're on a winner already. Okay, so you're already on to a winner. So let that melt, right? Take a whisk. And just, you have a large bowl, so you have a lot of room to whisk up your eggs, okay? If you do this in a very small bowl, then naturally you're going to be like at this. Yeah, yeah. And they're not going to whisk up. You're not going to aerate don't you? Okay. Air is important, yeah? Absolutely. Just to say, have some sourdough toast under the grill. Oh. Just to toast up as we speak. So you want to just get some nice aerated bubbles into that, okay? And then when your pan is nicely, butter is kind of melted out, just throw that in. Okay? Now, if you see people making scrambled eggs, like what you're asking me, that will normally... S sizzle, sizzle and, and yeah. start so yeah. you don't want brown you don't want like cooked eggs like you know fried eggs and people love a yes. crispy yeah, yeah. edge on the fried egg which i like and then the yolk really runny mm -hmm. but you want this to be really nice and creamy and soft and luxurious okay Gorgeous. so you just start cooking that as i said in a figure of eight so you're kind of um go going from the outside into the center right Scoop and you're not being too fussy you're just moving it around the just pan moving really around the pan. it's like I think really good scrambled eggs are almost like a very soft omelette. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, so, th yeah that's what it looks more like you're doing, whereas yeah. certainly my experience of, of is lash them into well, a hot pan and like, go at like them that, straight and away then, and to then the eggs, Yeah, and then the eggs break up too much and they become kind of... Powdered. Um, I, they remind me of popcorn. Yeah, it's chalky okay. almost. Like little popcorn-y, yeah, yeah. um, dry eggs. And again, it's your own preference. You ta I take them off the heat when they're still a little bit wet. Some people hate that. They like really dry mm. scrambled eggs, and that's fine. Yeah. But, you know, a little bit soft and wet at the end... Um, they'll still cook out in the pan while you're plating up, okay? okay? So that's basically, it's they're nearly cooked out. They only take, you know, two minutes, three minutes. So you're adding a bit of fancy schmancy to this with a bit of gorgeous uh, Irish fish. So I'm adding um, wild uh, caught smoked Beautiful. salmon on top. So um, at this point, I'm just gonna season them because they're nearly cooked out. So a little bit of sea salt, okay? Right. Um, if you season your eggs at the start, people often ask that, it can draw out the water, the eggs can become a little bit Oh, right. um, grey, okay, so yeah. that's not a good thing to do. So just wait until the end, until they're nearly cooked. So again, it's just a waiting game of just keeping on moving it around the pan. Doing your kind of figure of eight is the easiest motion that I could yeah. advise you to do. Mm. All right, so I'm going to get my toast. Is that how you do them now, or would you be quicker? Uh, no, I like them like that, because I like, I like a sort of a wet yeah. scrambled egg. I don't like them too dry. I don't think that, that hard, fierce cooking no. scrambled eggs. I mean, people, just just people do 15-minute scrambled eggs that are, like, so soft. Yeah. You know, and you think, how could you cook a scrambled egg for 15 minutes? Yeah. But, you know, they're just really low heat. Take your time. Yeah. So, not, the, not that you need it with the butter in the eggs, but we're just going to slightly butter a no, piece sure of sourdough sure. toast, because ah, why would, not? You would. OK, so they're nearly coming up now. And, and what I, I have then, sorry, also, is um, so I have some creme fraiche in here. Yeah, I was going to ask okay, about this dressing you have top. on top. Yeah. Some chives that I've just chopped in there. 
I'm just going to zest a little bit of lemon. Okay, and I'm just going to literally give that a quick whisk. Gorgeous. All right, so that's your creme fraiche for your topping. Grand, and that's just from the supermarket as is? That's just creme fraiche, full fat creme fraiche from any supermarket. Gotcha. Okay, so those eggs now, for me, are done. Yeah. Now, if you just take them off like that, and... And they're going to continue cooking in the residual heat of cooking, that pan anyway. But they're, they're perfect, okay? I like oh, them, they're set, that. they're hard, yeah. um, but just a little bit soft still, okay? Yeah, a little so, runny. Little runny. Okay, so let's just get them all on there, all right? That's a proper portion too, Shane. Proper portion, three good eggs, and then some of your salmon on top. And you said this is wild salmon? Wild salmon, yeah. So wild Atlantic salmon. So just oh. arrange your salmon on the top there. We're going to do a little piece of lemon on the side. Uh, a crack of black pepper. Okay. I like loads of black pepper. And then just some fronds of fresh dill. A frond. A frond. A frond. Over the top. Oh, and, and then a little scoop fresh. of your, your right. creme fresh. And I think now there isn't a mammy in the country that wouldn't no, enjoy absolutely that. absolutely not. That's for sure. And that's it. I'd say Very there simple. Are plenty of kitchens around the country now where every pot and pan is being used. Clattered and wallets and everything. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. And it's great because that's just one pan. And if you cook them like you do, you won't have to steam that pan and scrub no. it fine. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. true. No, it's no, and it's not all burnt on the bottom. So that's a non-stick true. pan, obviously, or a non-stick saucepan. Okay, do right. Shane. Okay. Uh, this looks absolutely... Do you feel guilty eating this now with Anna sitting over there watching us out? It feels very wrong. I'll Anna's show you how guilty Anna should be over here getting spoiled. There's, I feel there's an extra guilty. portion for Anna as well. Yes. Anna, this well, is your one. It's your name There might be. Look at the guilt on my face. Mm. The horse in. Oh, man. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, wow. And again, well season it, you know, just but to your own taste, but eggs need seasoning, obviously. Oh. Yeah, now you added the, the salt and the pepper after you'd mixed them. Would you add more salt? At the end, you, you absolutely can, pepper. but don't forget smoked salmon is also very salty because okay. it's cured. But so you know, you've got I'm, the salt in that. I'm picking up straight away there is that gorgeous lemon juice. And, and the lemon zest. And the lemon the, zest, yeah, because I wouldn't the want to overpower fresh. the salmon with too much lemon. Yeah. And obviously with the eggs, you know, but just a little bit of zest in the creme fraiche is beautiful. Mm. They are luxurious. Aren't they? They are not like the scrambled eggs <laughs> I've ever made at home, that's for sure. Mm. Actually, Good, really they are. Really Shame, you, what Shane. a lovely Mother's Day treat. Thank and you a happy so Mother's Day to Dolores. Happy Mother's Day, Mammy Dolores. Riggers. <laughs> <laughs> she will be thrilled. Oh, oh no, I did. Good. <laughs> Well, good for her. If you want to give this a try at home, you can check out the full recipe details. They are on our website, or as ever, Riggers D8 is open for takeaway. And you can check out Shane's website for more details. Thank you, Shane. Thanks, guys. Right, up next, eight-year-old Grace Lowe and her man are going to be sharing their incredible story for an incredible cause. We're back after this short break.